it's Sunday, we're in a car early. It can mean just one thing, it's an away day. Welcome back to West Ham, I'm official. I hope you are all well. Chelsea away today, the penultimate away game of the season for the Hammers. Uh, and it's gonna be a tough game today. Chelsea um, is just a point above us with a game in hand. So look, if we want any chance to finish above uh, our London neighbours, this is a must win today. We're on the beach, we get that, we know that. But this is, this is the game we probably want to win for the more comical um, element of it because it'll be just quite nice to finish above Chelsea. Um, if we're totally honest but they've come into a bit of form in the last few weeks coincidentally they've been pretty poor all season and look we can do the double over them today if we beat them after um, we did overcome them at the London Stadium three, 2 or 3 1 uh, back in August I think it was um, that, that they've come into a bit of form Palmer, Madueke it's all it's all sort of started to click together um, for Chelsea right at the wrong time from a West Ham perspective because they've been pretty poor all season that's been widely documented their league position reflects that look when you get to the business end uh, of the season the league table doesn't lie and they've been bang average for the vast majority of the season but just you know that that Man United win where they turned it around in injury time sort of was the catalyst of them beginning to look a little bit better and at home they put in some good performances and they beat a really really below par Spurs on uh, Thursday night if we're honest because uh, they they, they, you know, I didn't think they were great Thursday night. They didn't have to be. They did what they needed to do. And it could be another case of that today in terms of West Ham. We don't know what West Ham are going to turn up. Um, I'm not expecting massive, massive things, I'm totally honest, towards the end of the season. Not a hell of a lot to play for from the players' perspective. But hopefully we can go out, put in a decent shift today and give them a, uh, give, you know, give them a good game. They're not untouchable. We know that. They've been uh, beaten by a lot of sides at home this season. And hopefully we can add to that list uh, today. We need players to have some good performances today. You know, we're owed some performances. Paqueta, probably Kudus, you could add into that category. He's just gone off the boil a little bit uh, in recent weeks. So uh, if we can get them back firing again alongside Jared Bowen, who hasn't stopped, quite frankly, you know, after he scored last weekend, was it? Um, to get 20 goals uh, in all comps this season. He's been brilliant. Uh, so you know, get the ball to Bowen, get the ball to Kudus. And I think he'll play Paqueta despite his poor form, if I'm honest. Um, I can't see him playing Walprouse over him uh, in the midfield three. So I'm expecting Alvarez to Suchek and uh, Paqueta playing a little bit more progressively in that midfield three. Uh, Antonio probably uh, with Bowen and Kudus either side of him would be my expectation in terms of um, defensively whether Mavropanos comes back in if he's fit I don't know uh, but if he does that's a huge huge boost because we've looked really shaky I mean uh, yes we, we were okay um, against Liverpool last weekend but before that at Palace defensively it was a calamity uh, so if we can avoid that today no individual errors, no gifting challenges Chelsea goals. Uh, let's make them work uh, work for it today uh, and give them a decent game. Let's make this a proper London derby. Um, I'm sure it'll be a good atmosphere from our end in there today. Have a bit of a party and look, we'll see uh, what happens in that sense. Just yeah, just go out there, have a go at them. Uh, not sit back and try and protect an goalless draw would be ideal but we all know uh, what the tactics are going to be Chelsea are without a lot of players have been widely documented ahead of their game against Spurs they've got like 12 or 13 um, fit first team players so we need to try and exploit that take the game uh, to take that game a bit longer and I mean our, our subs bench is probably as good as their subs bench if we're honest but um that's, that's the sort of level playing field because we have got very little to come off that bench by design of course uh, but look they've got their first 11 not a lot else um, and we need to try and beat them and look if we do it we do it if we don't we don't it's not the end of the world either way but just a decent performance something to get the crowd up uh, is what's in order today some performances from players that have been lacking in recent weeks uh, is probably what we need as well Chelsea have looked weak in midfield this season uh, they've chopped and changed and there's a lot of money in that midfield it hasn't quite flowed let's try you know, put put a couple of early tackles in. Let's see. Let's you know, rough them up a bit and see um, what character they've got. Let's make this difficult for them, which Spurs didn't do on Thursday night. And that's what you've got to try and do. Spurs sort of let. Chelsea dictate the game we can't do that today um, you know let's really have a go at them and see what happens so yeah thanks for watching uh, there'll be a match day vlog a little bit later on hopefully uh, it's a good one my prediction for today's game um, it could go either way quite easily couldn't it the bookies are probably predicting a Chelsea win as a favourite which doesn't surprise me uh, but I'm going to back the boys of course I am 2-1 West Ham uh, I'm feeling Chelsea to score early but a second half comeback from the Hammers to take all three points back to East London and put us uh, in a better position to finish above Chelsea if course it's still in their hands uh, but we will have to wait and see in the last few weekends of the season that's it from me come on your irons and we'll see you soon right here on west dominant official it's a london derby let's make it feel like one today we'll see you soon bye bye